Hello everyone, welcome to another video session class. So today we will study about metronidazole first, okay? So let us start. Metronidazole. So we know it is an antiprotrusion drug or anti yes it is anti protrusion drug. So first let me do the structure of this uh, metronidazole. So it is a nitroimidazole okay so it is a nitroimidazole derivative that is one nitro group will be attached to the imidazole group okay I mean imidazole, main imidazole moiety so i am drawing the structure just see it very carefully so this is the structure of this is the structure of imidazole. Okay, this is the structure of imidazole. So, what will be the metronidazole? I'm doing the structure. You just see, this is the structure of metronidazole. And two. Okay, so this is the nitro group, and this is the imidazole group. That that's why it is nitro imidazole. Derivative. So, how can we name this structure? Just see it very carefully. Two. So, numbering will start from here. One, two, three, four. Then this one will be the five. So, two methyl in two position. One carbon is there. One carbon that is CH3 is there. CH3 is containing one carbon. So, two methyl. Then five nitro. Then this will be small nitro imidazole. Okay. Then this is the in one position what is there? One ethanol. Okay. So you can name it like this. Two methyl five nitro imidazole. So five in five position nitro group is there and ultimately the structure is imidazole. Then in one position ethanol. Okay. Or we can name like this. 1 okay 2 hydroxy ethyl okay 1 2 hydroxy ethyl then 2 methyl 2 methyl 2 methyl then 5 nitro imidazole Okay, five nitro imidazole. So it will be the nomenclature because in one position two hydroxy ethyl is there. Okay, hydroxy means OH group and ethyl means two carbon one two. Okay, so likewise in two position methyl group is there. Okay, so one two hydroxy ethyl two methyl five nitro imidazole. Okay, so this is the nomenclature. So next properties, we will start about the properties, okay, so properties, we will see, so this nitro, uh, metronidazole is, it is pale yellow or cream colored, okay, cream, cream colored uh, crystals crystalline in nature so it is crystalline powder okay so it is cream colored uh, or pale yellow, pale yellow or cream colored crystalline powder and its melting point it ranges from 150 degree to 160 degree celsius okay so its melting point ranges from 150 degree celsius to 160 degree celsius that is a wide range of melting point okay so next about the solubility i am writing here it it is very limit having very limited solubility limited solubility in water and other organics and other organic solvent organic solvents 
So in other in organic solvents and water, it's having very slight solubility. Okay, very less solubility in water and other organic solvent like chloroform, methanol. These are organic solvents. And you remember this metronidazole as well. It is stable stable in la, uh, light and darkens on heat okay so this is the thing so this is the one more property so next we will go to uses uses it is anti protozoal drug anti protozoal used for anti protozoal it is an anti protozoal drug used for susceptible protozoal infection okay protozoal infections so we know it is anti protozoal drug and it is used for susceptible protozoal infection next it is also it is used for anaerobic anaerobic bacterial infection bacterial infections so it is also used for anaerobic bacterial infection then it is also used for trachontiasis okay trachontiasis so what is trachontiasis so i am writing here used for trachontiasis okay so it is guinea worm infection guinea worm infection so guinea worm infection is called as Dracontiasis. Okay. Next, another use I'm writing. These are the uses. Okay. Use this. This inflammatory. It is used for inflammatory bowel diseases. So it is also used for inflammatory bowel diseases. Okay. Another use adjunct to it is used for adjunct to radiotherapy radiotherapy of radiotherapy of malignant neoplasm. Okay, that is type of cancer. Okay, malignant neo plasm that is the cancer okay so adjunct to radiotherapy along with radiotherapy this drug is used for malignant neoplasm okay so these are the uses so after use you will see what are the preparations or formulations preparations or formulations Okay, so metronidazole, midazole, as per BP, British Pharmacopoeia, and Indian Pharmacopoeia. Then metronidazole tablets as per BP, this British Pharmacopoeia, IP. And USP, this is United States Pharmacopoeia. Then metronidazole, metronidazole injection as per USP, United States Pharmacopoeia. So these are the preparation. And remember, metronidazole type that very much, very often it is available in the uh, drugstore or medical store. There you will get 400 mg of this metronidazole. Okay, you will get the tablet form. So next, 
we will study about its brands. So what are the brands? So commonly available brands are there, you know, Metrozyl. So in Metrozyl, you will get uh, Metronidazole, then Flezyl, okay, then Obrazil, Obrazil, okay. These are the formulation, Metrozyl, Tablet, Fragile, Tablet, these are etc. Okay, lots of other brands are there which are containing this material. Storage condition. So storage condition I'm writing here. So these are the brands. Okay. Storage conditions. So keep it protected from from light. condition of this metronidazole. So next, uh, I hope you have understood this compound, okay, metronidazole, so it is storage condition is keep it protected from light, light and this is an anti protrusial drug, okay. So next, we will start Deluxinide, furate, okay, furate, so furate is salt, so deluxinide, furate, so deluxinide directly will go to properties, so it is white in color, white in color, Crystalline powder, crystalline powder, okay, it is crystalline powder, then it is odorless, it is odorless, this is no specific smell, then its melting point, Rain, uh, melting point ranges from 114 degree Celsius to 116 degree Celsius. So this is the melting point range for this deluxinite furate. Okay. Next property about solubility. The solubility. So solubility. It is very slightly soluble. Slightly soluble in water, then it is slightly soluble, slightly soluble in ether and alcohol. Okay, in ether and alcohol. So this is about its solubility. Okay. It is uh, very slightly soluble in water, then it is very uh, slightly soluble in ether and alcohol. Okay. So next we will see its uses. Okay. So it is a luminal, 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 MOB side. used for intestinal hemobiasis. So we already know what is hemobiasis, intestinal hemobiasis. So it is a luminal hemobicide used for intestinal hemobiasis. Then along with along with metronidazole Metronidazole. It is used used as so along with metronidazole, it is used as hemobicide for entamoeba. 
Antamoeba Polesky. Okay, P O L E C K Y. Antamoeba Polesky. So, these are the uses. So, next we will see about the preparations or formulations. Okay, so preparation or formulation. Formulations, okay. So, preparation and formulation. Jacksonite uh, furiate. Deloxinide furoate BP as per BP and as per IP then deloxinide furoate tablets as per BP and IP in the pharmacopoeia and this pharmacopoeia ok so these are the preparation or formulations and next we will say brands so brands I remember euphoron is one brands ok then rest you study from book ok as there are in books lots of uh, brands are there then in the internet also you will get those brands which are containing the deluxe night fuel then storage so keep it protected from light from light in a airtight container okay airtight container so this is about its storage okay so this is about the deluxe night okay so I hope you have understood this video. Thank you.